Hi there. In this video, we're going to introduce resistors and resistance. We won't get into mathematical models for resistors yet. We'll just stick to some general remarks about the concept of resistance and some of the uses for resistors in electrical circuits. Resistors are used to limit the amount of current in a circuit. They're also used to set voltages to desired levels. Resistance is a property of materials which, as the name implies, measures how much the material resists the flow of current. Since voltage is used to cause current to flow, resistance corresponds, in some sense, to the amount of voltage required to move a given amount of current through a material. So less current flows through a high resistance than through a low resistance if the same voltage is applied to the two. Resistance has units of ohms represented by the Greek letter omega. Resistances of the resistors in Digilent's analog parts kit range from ohms to thousands of ohms, called kiloohms and represented by a K prefix, to millions of ohms, called megaohms, represented by an M prefix. Now let's do some quick demonstrations to illustrate these points. In these demos, we'll apply voltages to resistors and measure currents. The process of using the equipment to do these processes is explained in other projects. Now let's take a look at how the current through a resistor is affected by the resistance value. We'll apply 5 volts to a resistor using the voltage instrument of the analog discovery and measure the current using our digital multimeter. First, we'll use this 1 kilo ohm resistor. With 5 volts across the resistor, we get an approximately 5 milliamp current. If we switch the resistor to this 10 kilo ohm resistor, we get about 0.5 milliamps of current. Increasing the resistance by a factor of 10 reduced the current by a factor of 10. One reason why resistors are used in electrical circuits is to reduce the current demand from other portions of the circuit. If we apply 5 volts to a 10 ohm resistor, the resulting current will be higher than the analog discovery can provide. In order to protect the USB drive of the computer, the analog discovery shuts itself off. So if we want to use our analog discovery to provide power to a circuit, we need to design the circuit so that it has fairly high resistance. Another application of resistors is to protect circuit components. Most components are rated for a particular power level. This sets limits on the voltage and current that can be applied to the circuit. Trying to apply too much power to a component will cause it to fail. This demonstration requires considerably more current than the analog discovery can provide, so we're going to use a 6-volt lantern battery as our voltage source. What we're going to do is connect this battery directly to an LED. This will result in considerably more current than the LED is rated for. Initially, the LED lights up, but the excessive current will, ca will cause the LED to overheat, it'll burn out, and it will get darker. If we want to use this battery to light an LED, we'll need to add a resistor to the circuit to limit the current through the LED. Let's put a 470 ohm resistor here and connect the battery across the resistor LED combination. Now the resistor limits the current through the LED to safe levels and the LED stays brightly lit indefinitely.